So this is my gimbal and it's really nice and it's really stable. However, using it with your arms or both my arms is actually quite heavy. So I'm going to make a support for this. So to hold the entire support you need a backpack, it's a uh, tactical backpack that I'm using and it has a hole on top because this uh, can contain a camel bag. So having this hole on top you can put the frame through it and also make it hold the frame better than uh, letting it go through the yeah, zip. So for the frame itself I'm using V-slots, so these are uh, metal rails that actually makes it quite easily to build up anything that you want so I'm going to use these for the framing it's not extreme cheap but at least it's much better and also more pleasant to look at than uh, PVC pipes so how does the overhead camera support work so this is a measuring tape and it goes up inside automatically because there's a spring or a coal inside but this is not going to be strong enough for it. So to make it work, we need a spring balancer. This one is measured at one to three kilograms and this will easily hold up the gimbal. So the first part I'm going to show you is this. This is the frame that is going to be inside of your backpack. This size can differ because this is going to be the width of your backpack and uh, this is going to uh, yeah, hold the frame from rolling too much and the reason why there is like three tubes in here is between here we're going to put the third one and if you notice this will be able to slide in and out so the backpack can be adjusted to the person height this spring balancer only has like a certain length so we are going to extend the cable of this. So here inside we can see the coil and first things first just remove this cable I'm going to replace it with a dark green washing line cable with a metal wire inside so this is a noose where when it pulls it's going to be tightened So now it can go inside the backpack. There we go. This is the difficult part. Get it aligned, the hole aligned with it. I just poke it through, and then can secure it down. So 
this is going to guide this cable. This is the end part and I've already put a roller inside of here because that is really hard to do plus it needs several um, spacers so this doesn't move a lot. This is going to be the bottom because through one of the holes the cable will come out. So I've pulled the cable all around and through it. So to secure the cable it needs to be tensioned. So to do that we're going to use this. This comes with the spring balancer to hold the cable tight. So we're going to attach it to here and also make give a little bit of attention to the spring. That's secured, now the cable is more tightened, so it doesn't want to get off this unless you're going to pull on it, but it should stay in place. So the final part is to make a loop here, so we can attach stuff. Going to make a loop. Make a loop in it and get, come back so it has more strength on it. So here you can see me using the overhead support and it works. So no weight on my arms, so it's much lighter to use the gimbal with the whole handle. And of course the thing is you might say it's pretty low right now, but I can actually extend this uh, so it's higher up. And yeah, I have to say, I made this myself, so that was mainly it. So if you have any questions, please comment below. If you want to see more upcoming videos, please subscribe and I hope to see you the next time. Bye bye.